video we'll be installing a K N air filter on a 2014 Chevy Silverado. This is K N N's superior intake system. Here is the intake tube. K N N for mad horsepower. Here is the weather stripping. This goes on the box. Some tubes. Everyone loves instructions and make sure you get your Canaan sticker or you have to return it. In this box you'll get the filter itself with a chrome top because chrome gets you home. This is the coupler for the intake. And at the very bottom of the box you will have the unit that holds your filter inside of the truck. First, we're going to start by disconnecting the negative terminal on the battery. That'll be a 10 millimeter. So now you're going to remove the intake sensor. You pull up on this red tab and there's a button inside there. Pull up on that. Now we're going to start removing the hose clamps. Now we're going to remove the one on the plenum. You just push up from underneath like a button and it'll slide right off. Now we're gonna cut the zip tie that holds the wire harness for the sensor onto the original airbox housing. From there, we're gonna remove the top of the intake box. That'll be with eight millimeter screws. There'll be four of them. Here is your restrictive intake filter. Now we're just going to pull up on the airbox to remove it. Now with the airbox removed, we're going to remove four 10 millimeter screws that hold down the original bracketing. Now we're going to take our weather stripping and put it on the intake housing. What this will do is when you close the hood, it will stop all the hot air from the motor getting sucked into the intake, essentially creates a cold air intake. Now you'll want to trim it at the edge. I'd give it a little bit of extra room just in case. Now you're going to drop in intake shield. I'm just going to want to compress it a little bit and drop it in. Now you're going to use three of the factory hard hardware fittings and one goes on the inside and two on the outside. Now you're going to remove your filter from its bag and you're going to want to install it into the intake adapter. Just like so. Drop in the air filter and spin it to its side and use the hardware included So we found a coupling that covers this outlet that only the V8s have, but with a V6 we don't have that. And then we just connected these hoses, put our original clamp on there, and that just will clip back on. Just like so. We also have the plate on. We have it connected to this tube. We need to put hose clamps on it. And then after we're done with all that, we will transfer over our mass airflow sensor from our original intake box to this intake tube. So now that we've removed the mass airflow sensor and installed it in the bracket for the K&N, we'll just install it into the intake tube. Now with that all on, you'll just want to clip on your mass airflow sensor. Now we're just going to reinstall the negative battery terminal and fire it up. 